comprehensive video as they were exploring it for you. Oh, perfect. Because I wanted, I wanted you to see how they were interacting with it because you're not going to like the fact that when you come there, it shows four subject areas, you know, like it shows math, language arts. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. But it's an exposure in each one of those areas Okay. Um, per the kid. So, Abby, come talk about... Here, you can sit on my Okay, so tell her what you learned on that new software today. Um, um, on DNA, I saw the, uh, the one through eight things. I don't, I forgot the rest. The what? The rest of them. The one through eight? Oh, where it showed, it showed all these different magnifications from your skin all the way on down to your blood cells and the DNA mm -hmm. and the genes and all that. Was it, was it pretty cool. Was it interesting? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Like, are you, tomorrow morning when you wake up, are you going to just wish you could go back there and do it again? Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't convince me very much. <laughs> It's bedtime, right? She's busy looking at herself in the mirror. Oh, okay. the camera. Well, I'm glad. I'm, I'm really glad that you liked it. I, I'm anxious to hear more about it and to, you know, learn with you on it. It sounds like a cool what place. What the monkeys? Kind of gross. Tell her what did they do? What did you learn? Um, if you don't remember, maybe this wasn't as cool as it seemed at the time. It, it could be, Julia, it could be late, too. You never know. Well, she was talking about it again at dinner, about what did they do to get their brains? <laughs> they have to take the brains out of the mummies and mummify them. This was a part on ancient Egypt, and they had, like, these online interactive cartoon things where you mummified the body, and then she was all excited because you were going to make a mummified what? Apple, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. It was an experiment that they had, which was pretty cool. Nice. But we don't have washing soda. I was realizing we're going to have to have a really expensive just um, bunch of junk <laughs> available so that as kids need things, we can do them. Well, we've, ha we've talked about that, like tapping into resources that are recyclable, you know? Thank you. <laughs> just just like um you know like remote um controllers and there's got to be so many resources that we can tap into local businesses and rather than have them recycle them send them to us so we just have a warehouse of junk you know but to us it'll yeah. be treasures you know and it won't cost anything and it will actually help the environment because we're using it so that Reggio thing. That's, that's Emily's project for next year, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. Well, that's all that I had. I'm I... surprised that you were...